Merry Christmas STM. The story I'm going to read to you is The Snowman and the Snow Dog by Raymond Briggs. Come on, called Billy to his old dog. We're here. Let's explore our new home. But Billy's dog was too old and tired for exploring. As the months passed, he became slower and slower. And then one day, he died. Together, Billy and his mum buried him in the garden. Winter came. Billy was lonely. He missed his old friend. He had written a letter to Father Christmas and was about to take it downstairs when he tripped over a loose floorboard. What's this? thought Billy as he pulled out an old shoebox. Inside he found a worn out hat, some pieces of coal and a shriveled tangerine and a tatty green scarf. As Billy unfolded the scarf an old photograph dropped out. How odd! And then he realised another boy had lived here and made an amazing snowman. I'm going to make a snowman too, thought Billy, just like this one. He took the box and ran outside and began to build his own snowman. He used two pieces of coal for the eyes and a new tangerine for the nose. And last of all, he gave him a great big smile. His snowman was perfect. But there was still plenty of snow left. Billy had an idea. He started building again. And bit by bit, with two socks for ears, he made a snow dog. Now it was late. Billy said goodnight to his two new friends and went inside to bed. At midnight, Billy was woken by a muffled bark. He peered out of the window and rubbed his eyes in disbelief. Did the snow dog move? He ran downstairs and flung open the back door. And then the most magical thing happened. The snowman and the snow dog came to life. The snowman politely shook his hand and the snow dog bounded up to say hello. Then he was off up the garden where he found an old dog's ball. He wanted to play, but the snowman had found something too. It was a sledge. Billy climbed on board and through the gate they went towards the park and up the hill. When they reached the top, Billy gasped in amazement. The air was full of flying snowmen rising up from the gardens below. What a magical sight! Suddenly the snowman took Billy's hand and he started to run. Billy grabbed the snow dog and before he knew it, they were flying. Low over the rooftops they flew, then high above the city and across the countryside. All of a sudden the snowman sneezed and his tangerine nose blew off. They swooped down to find it, but when they landed they found something really exciting. Oh, cried Billy, an aeroplane. Together they went to take a closer look. They climbed in and with the snowman at the controls, they were flying again. Out to sea they flew, on and on, towards the North Pole. And what a sight greeted them when they arrived. There were snowmen and snow women everywhere. They'd all come to complete the snowman's annual downhill race. Billy and the snowman reached the starting line just in time. The whistle blew and they were off. Twisting and turning, they sped down the course. Soon Billy and the snow dog were the only ones left, battling it out with a penguin. And just as it seemed certain the penguin would win, the little snow dog stretched forward and broke the finishing tape with his nose. They had won. 
During the celebrations, Father Christmas arrived. He handed Billy a small parcel. This is for you. Happy Christmas. But there was no time to open the parcel. The dawn was breaking and it was time to go home. When they landed in Billy's back garden, it was time for him to go back inside to bed. I wish they could come with me, said Billy, but you would melt indoors. Billy's eyes filled with tears. He reached inside his pocket for a hanky and instead found the present from Father Christmas. Quickly he wrapped it. Inside was a brand new dog collar. He fastened it around the snow dog's neck. There you are, he said, just like a proper dog. He turned to go, but as he did, the snow dog's collar started to glow brighter and brighter until suddenly, woof, and where the snow dog had been, a real live dog was, his tail was wagging with delight. Oh, cried Billy, scooping him up. Just what I asked for in my letter to Father Christmas. Overjoyed, he hugged the snowman and then it was time to go inside. Back in his bedroom, Billy waved goodnight to the snowman. Then he snuggled down in bed with his new friend. I think I'll call you Socks, he said, and he drifted off to sleep. But when Billy woke up, Socks was nowhere to be seen. Billy's heart sank. Had it all been a dream? Then, hearing it, an excited bark, Billy rushed downstairs and there was Socks waiting to go outside and play. Billy opened the door and Socks sped towards the snowman. But the snowman was gone melted away in the early morning sun. Merry Christmas STM! <laughs>